Hey, y'all. How's it? This is Bo out here. Out here in Kansas, out here in the middle of the state. The Flathead Indian Reservation, Ronan, Montana. I went to grade school there, first grade, second grade, third grade. After that, my parents moved to the big city, wanted me to have a bigger education. The Flathead Indian Reservation, Ronan, Montana. Salish and Kootenai tribes. Kalispell, the Flathead Lake. Ronan, Kalispell. Already said that. St. Ignatius. So you got Kalispell on one end and St. Ignatius on the other. And uh, the biggest natural lake uh, in Montana. Flathead Lake. So here's this uh, show on uh, YouTube. I'm watching this goes. Go, this guy's going down to interview a flathead Indian. Well, it's not a flathead Indian. It's somebody that transferred in out of Canada, and she's from the Blackfeet Reservation, not flatheads. Not even, to my opinion, Salish or Kootenai. They have their own little tribe where they 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 come in. You know, they're, it's like you know when. People from California move into their into your state, and uh, they bring their stupid ideas with them. So this guy is interviewing these two man and woman. You know, nice people. One lady flat, um, black feet, and the other guy, I can't remember what he said, but transplant out of Canada, trying to explain flathead, where flathead is a derogatory name. No, it's not. In the, the myth about the Flathead Indian, there was no myth. I actually went to school in 1959, 1960, 1961, first, second, and third grade, the Flathead Indians. The Flathead Indians, their heads were flat. The most noted thing on them was their flat heads and as the story goes that their fathers would put rocks flat rocks on their heads as uh, they grew up and that's why they got flat heads and they were saying that flathead is a derogatory word and there's no such thing as bullshit because as a child a white family on an Indian reservation going to school at the Ronan, the old school, where like Mrs. Dilly was the third grade teacher, you know. Um, I don't remember what my first and second grade teacher's name were. Mrs. Wolf, you know, and the Sparrow, Mrs. Sparrow or something. I distinctly remember Mrs. Dilly because Dilly Bar, Dairy Queen, Dilly Bar, Miss Dilly. Um, she would get a lot of crap from that from us kids. And uh, she actually took us to the Dairy Queen down the street. It, uh, yeah, they're called Dilly Bars. True story. True story. So the Flathead Indian Reservation, Ronan, Montana. You got San Ignatius, Ronan, Polson, Pablo, and Kalispell. Well, they're doing this interview up these northern Kalispell Flathead Lake Indians where, the, you know, they're transported down from Blackfeet, like I said, in Canada. And, you know, the crow would come over. That's eastern Montana. Uh, Pablo has the college for the Salish and Kootenai tribe, the great Indian college. And But I attended first and second and third grade. I was born in 57, you do the math. I don't remember how old I was at sixth or first grade, maybe six. There was no kinder kindergarten in my life, you know. Um, we played recess, you know, and they wanted to play Cowboys and Indians. And they wanted to be the Cowboys all the time, you know. I wasn't the only white guy there. There was a couple other families that were white, but... They always want to play cowboys and Indians, you know, as children, and they wanted to be the cowboys. So they had to teach me how to be an Indian. So um, 
I'm more Indian than most Indians are today. I, I attended an Indian school. I was taught from Indian teachers and uh, Indian children how to, how to play and dance. And later on in life, I went back to that town and just got dickered, just got fuckered up, just drunk every day, you know, uh, going from bar to bar, actually on foot like the Indians do. They don't have cars back then, you know, but uh, I learned a lot. And these uh, people telling lies, man, I just, I don't like liars. That's what all this is about, giving out the right information. So my dad would hunt elk and bear, and uh, he would go up into the Bob Marshall wilderness, and they would go pack mules and stuff like that. And uh, as a child, you know, I first grade, you know, I remember this very well. Um, in my bedroom was a gun rack with all these high-powered guns in my bedroom. I grew up that way. And uh, some of my bows come from that area, too, with Dan Toki. Um, Dan Toki's uh, dad uh, was friends with my dad and also myself. But their grandpa was the outfitter that did the, uh, you know, up and down the mountain. Well, I'll get on out of here. There's his bow out here. You know who? You know where.